This beautiful house here is Ayres House. It was once home to Henry Ayres, former Premier of South Australia in the 1860s. And this is the last remaining mansion that uh, is basically here on North Terrace. There used to be a lot of mansions. This was prime real estate. We do still have some of the beautiful older, smaller houses, townhouses from that era, but this was a mansion of all sorts. What started out as a nine room house, which is probably big enough in itself, turned into more than 40 rooms, really showing the opulence of what uh, the Englishmen were bringing with their wealth to Adelaide. Henry Ayres in particular by then was gaining prominence as a politician. And for 40 years, it was a real hub for the social and political elite around Adelaide, a very, very important property in the early history of the city. In there you've got beautiful rooms that are now used as function spaces, everything from the library to what would have been the bedrooms, the living quarters, etc. Uh, these days in there they have a bar, it's used for things like uh, fringe comedy shows through to having a museum that talks about the Victorian era styles that houses were built in. So definitely worth a look in if you can. It is welcome and open to the public for the purpose of the museum and it's definitely such a beautiful beautiful relic of what used to be along the grandeur that is North Terrace. Henry Ayres was actually Premier a record five times and this is because there was a really tumultuous government around that time so he only had stints of as little as two weeks and then some longer than that so his five times weren't necessarily long periods but nonetheless he does hold the record for the amount of times being in the top job in South Australia. Henry Ayres is actually who Ayres Rock is named after, the English name for Uluru in the Northern Territory. This would likely have to do with the fact that he was knighted over his involvement in getting the Overland Telegraph from Darwin down to Adelaide completed, which was the first way of getting information from places abroad, particularly London. Thanks for watching. We have multiple tours and services which you can find more information about by visiting our website, flamboyancetours.com.au. And don't forget to follow us across social media too so you can stay connected with what we've got going on.